Hey everyone, I'm Andy Jenks with Henrico County Public Schools and welcome to the third in a series of videos designed to help families and students be successful for the first day of predominantly virtual learning, which is Tuesday, September 8th. There are a lot of new tools out there, some of which parents are using for the very first time and there are a lot of really good reasons why you should have accounts such as Schoology and PowerSchool. And PowerSchool is what we're focusing on in this video today. Our previous segment was all about establishing your account for the very first time. Now it's why do I even need PowerSchool? What can it do for me? And once again, I want to bring in Melanie German from our technology department. Melanie, thanks again for taking us through it. And at this point, we're going to pick it up where you are logging into PowerSchool. You've created your account and you've added your student and now it's go time. So what does that look like? The first thing you'll do is type in your username and password and click sign in. Once you do that, it opens up the parent portal page where you can see all of the specific information for your child. As you can see on the left hand side, we have a whole bunch of icons over here that's all about the information that you can get from the parent portal. I want to hit a few of the ones that are most important for this time of year. Account preferences. This is where you can go to manage your password for the portal itself. You can also click on the student tab and this is where you can go to add additional students. So maybe you set up your account for one child or two children and now you have a new child who's starting kindergarten for example. You could come to this tab here, click the add button and it's going to this is where you would enter the same information you added when you originally created your PowerSchool account. You put all of that information here on this screen click OK and now you'll have an additional student added to your account and you can uh, keep up with their information um, throughout the year as well. You know, I want to add emphasis on that. You find that in the account preferences tab on the left side of the screen. So if you're adding a student, it's account preferences and then follow the instructions on the screen, correct? Correct. Excellent. And so one thing to point out about PowerSchool is that if you are a parent and you are new to this, you've never seen PowerSchool before, it allows you to stay on top of your student's academic progress without having to ask your student how his or her day was. You, in other words, have access to grades and other assignments and school-related information updated as frequently as it's updated at the school, right? Correct. That Excellent. Correct. Well, that's a, a, a very useful tool for, for parents out there. There are other, two other things that we are promoting heavily now at the end of August, one of which is completing your annual back to school forms, which used to be a paper process. You get a stack of papers like this big, but now they're online. So let's first talk about where you go to access online forms, Melanie. You will click on access online forms on the left hand side. Once you do that, it brings up the online forms page where you will see listed here various forms that are available for your student. This is going to be very school specific this time of year especially. You'll click on the link, you'll be able to log into the form, complete the form, and then that, that information will feed over to your school so we can update PowerSchool accordingly. Throughout the school year you may also find student and school specific forms that will be available to you and your school will communicate that information to you at the time. Excellent. Last but not least, we're talking a, a really helpful piece of information is new to PowerSchool uh, in late August, and that's some very important student information about logging into a Chromebook or a laptop for the very first time. We've been distributing thousands of devices because every student in Henrico County will have an HCPS issued device, but sometimes you get to a point where you don't even know how to log into these devices. PowerSchool allows that uh, information to get to you really quickly. Where do you go to find that information? Yes, you'll click on the, the icon student account access. This is going to bring you to a page where you have all of the username and access that you need, information that you need to log into your student's device. That'll be a Chromebook for elementary, that'll be a laptop for secondary. So you have the username, the password, your, your student's email address, as well as the lunch ID, should you ever forget that. And again, another location where you can find your student number, should you need that for something in the future. The grades and attendance link will share with you all of your student's information in real time from the grade book, grades that are, they are earning on their assignments and then an overall grade for the year. Once grades are finalized for the report card period, the student's report card grade will show up here. During the course of the quarter, you'll see real, live, real-time grades from the gradebook. We also have um, 
class information, class registration information here. This is where you'll go in December to schedule your students for their classes for next year for students who are rising grades 6 through 12. The My Schedule link will show you your child's actual schedule. So right now we're displaying schedules for the elementary school. This is also where you can find middle school and high school schedules. Excellent. For the record, we'll once again thank my fifth grader for donating his personal identifiable information for the uh, public good. Melanie German from our technology department, thank you very much. We have now uh, created our PowerSchool account. We've shown you what PowerSchool can do, and we've talked about login information for your devices. In our next segment, we'll talk about those iPads, those Chromebooks, and our laptops. Join us then.